some people were saying, how did the governor let it get bad, this bad? Because Sanambra used to be uh, one of the safest states in the Southeast. I'll tell you what went wrong. I'll tell you what went wrong. You know, um, there were policies run by the past um, administrations that didn't go well, right? And um, you see, if you kill a cow for your enemy as a way of buying peace, what you have bought is peace of the graveyard. Soludo doesn't want to continue along that path. So that is part of the problem. And um, you don't pay blackmailers. And you don't also pay people who don't want peace. And you're paying them only for them to keep up, feed well, arm themselves, recruit more stranded youth to unleash greater insecurity. Don't forget that the policy already failed even before Soludo came in. And that was why the last gubernatorial election, the election I couldn't hold in many parts of Anambra South. Why? Because the, 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 the criminals had already built their camps. And these are camps that Soludo has been trying to uproot. And um, they have to be fully uprooted. Anambra made fully unsafe for them. We cannot continue this way. Politics aside. We need to recover our state. And um, because they follow the, they follow that route, they bought peace, like I said, of the graveyard. And that was why even they couldn't even uh, respect uh, some of uh, the agreements they had with uh, the past uh, government. And they couldn't allow election to hold in many parts of uh, the south, uh, of, 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 uh, of Anambra South. And um, eventually it indicated one thing that it was peace of the graveyard you don't empower criminals they will come back for you you know so soludo's approach of not negotiating with criminals of not paying criminals is the decent patriotic way to 